the Bow Dance Company, and we are here at the Bull Game. Welcome to Paris! We are from Budalevu Secondary School. Welcome, Welcome to Fresh. Welcome to Fresh. And refreshes. I'm Celestino Robotomanda. And I'm Hari Tihita. And we, we are, are from, from the Fiji and Roa. Today you are hanging out with the freshest players in Super Rugby. Let's see what's coming up on the show. Toso Roa. The Coca-Cola Games is, is a culmination of, of, of uh, secondary school's athletic sports days. A total of about 3,000 plus athletes and 152 secondary schools. We have the whole of Fiji. Uh, I'm here at Wailolo Beach, and it's one of my favorite beaches in Fiji. It's located in Nandi, uh, my hometown. Wai is water, and Lolo is black. I don't even know that is my question. I'm so anymore. sorry, I love her so much. Yeah. Answering all the questions. <laughs> Bro, you want to come on out? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's sorry, all sorry. good alone. I'll leave some for you guys. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> question. We're from the Fijian draw. Welcome to our world. Every game has presented its own challenge with the teams we've come up against. This to knock over the defending champions. You never really expect what can happen, but I think the boys have shown what you need to do in this team the way we play. We take the good and the bad, and I think that's what makes our game quite exciting. They just have to put it into touch, and it's another famous victory. Be here by seven normally, most days. We come in, you do your own kind of activation warm-up, get your body right. We have a lot to in the morning before we start training. After that, we'll have a gym session. Split forwards and backs forwards and backs. Sometimes the forwards do a gym and then they do their line outs and set piece and stuff and the backs just do the gym and then we just relax because we don't have many work on the backs don't do much on the field. They don't do much anyway. We're pretty good. We're pretty strong. If we have a big field session coming up, we'll normally have a big lunch before that. Head off for the second session, finish that, come back and just jump in the ice baths, shower. If we have any meetings, we'll have them. Even on our off days, all the boys are kind of always together really, to be honest. She come from heyday, but everything she do so cold. She can make your mind run crazy. She can make the truth unfold. Nobody knows what her name is, but she look like she famous. Outrageous, looking pretty dangerous. She can make the truth unfold. We try to play structured, but obviously the boys have grown up with touch rugby, one touch and everything, throwing the ball around. And I think the people of Fiji probably aren't so surprised with all the, you know, the offloads and things like that. So it looks a bit chaotic, but it's almost controlled chaos in a way. Even sometimes I get a bit <laughs> unexpected as a first five trying to sort things out and then someone just does something else. I'm like, what the hell? And then they end up doing a try from it. So I think that's just the way we play. And it'll be a bit sad to try and take that away from us. We get to the ground, do our warm up and everything, and then come back in. We have our talk first, we sing a hymn, we have a prayer, and then we run out onto the field. And then sometimes we like to be five minutes late after kickoff. <laughs> Playing in front of family always makes a difference, as opposed to when we are away for our away games. And even just off the field, in terms of having that fan base, you know, having the rugby players walk around, doing our shopping amongst the, the community, it's, yeah, it's definitely brought us together. You always just want to get up in front of your family, in front of the crowd. I appreciate everyone coming out and uh, supporting me. They honestly go off. You can definitely feel the energy that they bring. Sometimes it gets a bit too rowdy. We're to, to the point where sometimes, even myself, I get caught up in the hype. You can see some crazy stuff that happens when we're out there. Crazy good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 With the, the shark teeth, 
The mangi mangi, the star, the pedals, the oars, and the sail. Oh, and the waves. Yeah, and the waves. That comprises the jersey. And all of that pretty much uh, envelopes what Fiji is about. And the designer was Anare Sumumu. My name is uh, Anare Sumumu. I'm the last to do the um, two, uh, designs. It came from my heart to all my soul. In this uh, design is to represent everybody who call Fiji as their home. They are part of the team. Oh, the most memorable game would have to be the Crusaders one. Our home game here in Lotoka. Boys made history. Boys made history. Defeating the defending champions. It was definitely an emotional game for not just the players, but for the people of Fiji. Yeah. But this is very special. First home game of 2023. The competition has been tough uh, with many other schools winning medals. In the past two days, uh, the metal tally can be anyone's game right now. So I'm here at my favorite um, curry place. It's called India Gate. And we'll head out there. I'm just going to go grab some lunch. Come on. My name is uh, Lawrence Stigham. I work with the Coca-Cola Games and have been so for the last 30 years. The Coca-Cola Games is, is a culmination of, of, of uh, secondary schools athletic sports days. A total of about 3,000 plus athletes and 152 secondary schools. We have the whole of Fiji participating. Almost every single school is represented here uh, to come and make it at the Coca-Cola Games. You know, this is our Olympics. For many, you know, this is where they actually their dreams begin. Brilliant start by Kesaya, Molitana Kandavo of MGM. Every year we come out loud and proud supporting uh, Andida Kombao. The costumes and the t shirts speak for themselves. We get to support our school. My name is uh, Makelesi Mbulikyombo, and uh, I look after the ECS uh, team. I've learned in the past and as well as, uh, you know, other high-performance uh, athletes. Eh? They've done visualization and all those mental prep. Francis Tuba versus Nasali, ACS versus ACS, it's Francis Tuba. It's more about empowering young uh, girls and women. The attraction for the game has always been it's, it's an iconic event. People have always been wanted to be a part of it. And many of these kids have not actually uh, come to Suva, uh, let alone uh, been to the capital city. And been part of this great uh, friendly rivalry that has been around for many, many years. You know? Competition has been tough uh, with many other schools winning medals. In the past two days, uh, the medal tally can be anyone's game right now. Uh, but for us, we just want our athletes to do the best. That's all we can ask for. Yesterday, we, we uh, started off the day with five medals. 
So that is good for the team and uh, you know still have a second day and uh, they need to go. Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Rachel Ingeriwa. I set a record for senior girls for the triple jump. One of the ACS uh, girls broke it again. It's been three years, so I'm proud to support athletics, especially in school, St. Thomas side. I'm the captain of the Super Grandma cheer team and uh, here to cheer for our athletics here and in it to win it. And I think that the biggest part of it is actually grooming them for national duties. It's not about what they've done, it's about what they've managed to inspire people to do. And I think that's the key message. I think when you look at it, what these top athletes do, they continue to inspire greatness, goodness, and their character is probably something that many of these young athletes aspire to be become. What a run, she powered home to win the gold medal and she's put a name in the history book of Coca-Cola games. Set your goals, dream big, and work, to, work hard towards it, eh? Uh, today I'll be showing you uh, some of my favorite spots here in Nandi. Welcome to my area code. So I'm here at my favorite um, curry place. It's called India Gate and we'll head out there. I'm just gonna go grab some lunch. Come on. Lots of choices. I think today I'm gonna go with Lamb. There's a line. It's that good. All right, guys, I'm ready to tuck into my curry. But just before that, let me give you a little bit of history on how curry um, is all over Fiji. And that's because back in 1879, we had the first um, Indian from India who came to Fiji to work on the farms, the sugarcane farms and um, some of them went back to India, some of them decided to stay on, and then the ones who stayed on kept staying on, and here I am. And um, that's why we have a whole lot of curry houses around Fiji, and curry is actually one of the most popular dishes. I'm about to tuck into one, and it's roti curry mateni with dal. Oh. So uh, I'm here at Wailolo Beach, and it's one of my favorite beaches in Fiji. It's located in Nandi. Uh, my hometown, Wai is water, and Loa Loa is black, so it's literally black water, Wai Loa Loa. And uh, this is Nandi Bay, actually, it's really beautiful. And if I go towards the edge, yes, I'm standing on Nandi Bay, but really, it's the Pacific Ocean. Really, the Pacific Ocean. Pretty good. So I'm out here at the, um, at the Momi Junction. It's about 15 minutes away, 15 minutes drive from Nandi town. It's always a, the place that I stop at before I head home just to buy uh, some snacks and um, some fruit as well. I've been not China. China, I leave my atolu. Guava season's almost over, but this one's pretty good for guava jam, so I'm gonna take some guava home for mom. So this is another, another of the ladies. She's selling like kuchla. Kuchla is Fiji. Kuchla is the best thing about Fiji. It goes with anything, biscuit, bread, curry, soup, lovo. Do I want salt and chili? Yes, please. Naka, thank you. So I'm back home, Rachiri Hills, with my fresh guava. And I hope my mom appreciates the um, guava. It's pretty fresh. Ma! Mango. <laughs> Anyways, that's my area code, uh, 679 is Fiji. Thank you so much, and I hope you'll enjoy 
all the three spots and look forward to seeing you in Fiji. Mwale manda, minaka. Stay tuned, because after the break, our Fijian gang in New Zealand go head to head in how fresh are you. Kokal? No. Let's keep going through the islands, guys. Yeah, yeah. Tonga. Yes. Yes! to our Fiji edition of How Fresh Are You? Woo! I am Danny Finnessy. I will be your quiz master for today. Let's meet our teams. To my right, we have got Ren and we have got Raj. Bola, gentlemen, what is your team name for today? The Double R's. <laughs> Boom. I love it. The Double R's. OK, well, welcome. And to my left, we have got Brittany and we've got Solo. Welcome. Do you have a team name? Well, because we are from the same part of Fiji, we are Lauan Flavor. <laughs> And let's get into our very first game, Rapid Fire. Okay, here we go teams, this is how it works. I've got some questions in front of me. Obviously the team to get the most correct, you win. First question, what is Kenyon Brown and Benna Butter's relationship to each other? Siblings. Correct! Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> On the board, love and flavour. <laughs> Next question. The Friendly Islands is the name for which Pacific Island nation? Fiji? No. <laughs> Kokal? No. Let's keep going through the islands, guys. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Tonga. Yes! Oh, that was a guess, oh. eh? That was a guess. No, I just uh, ran no, no, no. it. Like, <laughs> from Lao, we? Yeah. From Lao. Okay, next question. If you were celebrating Hibiscus Festival, what island country would you be in? Viti. Fiji. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Correct! Yeah! <laughs> what is the name of the US based Samoan TikToker famous for roasting? Oh, sorry. Even get? It's sorry, the... sorry. Okay. I just love her so much. Drew Afwalo. Oh, that is <laughs> impressive! <laughs> I'm so sorry, I love her so much. Yeah. She's answering all the questions. Bro, you want to come on out? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's sorry, all sorry. good alone. I'll leave some for you guys, sorry, sorry. Next question. Biza is the nickname for which Toa Samoa player? Brian Toa. That is correct. Congratulations. <laughs> He's got me, I did one. Guys, I'm not going to lie, but there's nothing on your board, so... We're going to make a comeback oh, okay. at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, last question. What is the largest native tree in New Zealand? Who to count? Oh, no. Pine tree. No, you're just going to keep going through all the trees, aren't you? <laughs> Starts with a cat. Oak tree. Kauri. Kauri tree. You press the buzzer, oh. so. <laughs> you get the yeah. point. What did you say? Right. Oh, sorry. Okay. You know what? We're going to like wrap that up right there, I reckon. I still, I still yeah. got one. That's the goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to claim that one. <laughs> Congratulations, you have taken out that round. Team Low and Flavor. Okay, we have got our next game. Pin the map. This is how the game works. I'm going to give each team a question. It'll be one of these little islands right here and you need to pin which one you think it is, all right? I'm not even going to give you the answer. And then whoever gets the closest to the correct island, you win. Yep. Here's your question. Which island has the Bikini Atoll? Do you think you know what it is? Please simple, pin the map. Simple. All you in the do appropriate place. Is look for a bikini, right? <laughs> and where do you see a bikini there? So, uh, uh, maybe, maybe there? We're going there. That looks like a bikini. Okay. Um. That's the answer. Once the hands off, you said you were looking for a bikini, but how do you see a bikini in? It looks like a perfect bikini. Team, low and flavour. Your question is, the 2023 Pacific Games 
is held on what island? Which yeah. island? Got to be a big island to... Ooh. Logical thinking. Right there. Right there, okay. Oh, wait. Summer? Oh. Too late, took the hand off. Hands off. Okay, and um, which island do you think this is? Samo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so the answer, boys, was not Bikini. Mm -hmm. It was the Marshall Islands. Mm, that was my second guess. That has the Bikini Atoll. And then your answer was the Solomon Islands. Neither of you have hit the correct island, so I'll have to do some measuring. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Like, I don't even know if I need the rope. Uh, but... Call it a draw. Honestly. <laughs> Congratulations, low and flavour. Oh. <laughs> Good geography skills that you've got right there. Is it really about points? I mean, you know, it's we all came here. It's of the game, yeah. you know? We all yeah, had a good yeah. time, you know? Yeah. So everybody is a winner around here, so you get shirts, oh, and you'll get shirts, and oh, you'll yes. get shirts. <laughs> not going to walk away empty-handed, of wow. course not. Thank you for joining us today. We will catch you back on the next episode of... How, How Fresh Are You? Are you? That's us from Jura HQ. Thanks for training with us. We go long miss to all the fans for supporting our games. We appreciate it and hope you had fun. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. More than Manda. My name is Miyakami. Keeping it fresh in the friendly island, Tonga. It is the B-Bowlers versus the creatives, a.k.a. personal trainers. You don't see a lot of Pacific Islanders in a magazine like Vanity Fair, so I'm really honoured that I got to be picked.